Go to Brisbane in Mr. Corey's Beechcraft Bonanza in order to take 35mm pictures of the Southern Cross for <coughs> the Royal Scottish Museum. Mr. Storer had already arranged a meeting with Mr. Brian Lee, the manager at Eagle Farm, quite some time before, and all the pictures came out beautifully. Very great pleasure to sit in this vehicle, this aeroplane. I've heard so much about it all my life. It's uh, one of the historic aeroplanes of Australia. And of course, we all knew what Kingsford Smith did with it when he was flying it. And uh, this is the first time I've ever been near it. And it's a very great honor to be here. We have here the Southern Cross, which is um, one of Australia's, if not Australia's most famous aircraft. It has been housed at the Brisbane Eagle Farm Airport since June of 1958 after having been restored by the number three aircraft depot at RAF, that's the Royal Australian Air Force, Amberley. So, on the 31st of May 1928, the Southern Cross took off from Oakland, California on the first stage of an epic flight to Australia. The Southern Cross landed at Eagle Farm Airport, Brisbane, Australia at about 10.15am on the 9th of June 1928 after an eventful 83 hours and 42 minutes flying time. It was the first time the Pacific Ocean had been spanned by air 